Hey everyone, it's Matthew here at Midland Pictures. I wanted to talk to you all today about a must-have app if you work in photo or video. Check it out. All right, so today we're gonna to talk a little bit about workflow. Running our own production company, we use a lot of different apps that help us make videos for our clients and for ourselves for this YouTube channel. There's one app that I've been using in the last six or so months that I think is crucial to the post-production process. It's an incredibly simple app, but it does so much to keep the media organized. I think it's an essential tool for anybody in a post-production workflow environment. Photographers, videographers, Something like this really makes things much easier when it comes to handling your media in the apps that you love. The app is called A Better Finder Rename, and it's an application that allows you to batch rename files so that you can give them custom names, which might make them more searchable, easier to identify if you're just cruising around Finder or whatever file browsing system you might use. And it also allows you to more easily relink media in the apps that you use to work on your media. If you've ever been working with apps like Lightroom, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro 10, and you've had media that you're using go offline, it can sometimes be a painful process to relink them. First off, if you're not terribly organized, it can be hard to locate those files. If you are organized, sometimes with the amount of shoots that you might be doing, photo or video, you could have files with a lot of similar file names. This happens to us a lot because we'll shoot on, let's say, our A6500, and every time we do a new shoot, the file naming starts over. Now you can set it to be sequential so that every time you start, a new file name is assigned to that file, but I wanna take it a step further. I wanna be able to rename all the files that I create from my cameras so that I never have to worry about a file name ever being the same. And that's where a better finder rename comes in. So what I'll do when I'm done with the shoot is I'll take all the files after I've organized them in our project tree, and I'll put those files into a Better Finder rename and create custom file names. A lot of times I'll do it based on the client's name, the name of the project. If someone was being interviewed, I'll put their name in there, what camera it was, and any other information that might be important to the editor or myself in getting a quick glance of what that file is. So not only does that make the file a little bit more easy to search in Finder, but it also makes it easier to search for that file in the video editing software we use, Final Cut Pro 10. The same may apply for Lightroom if you're searching for a certain photo and you're just not sure where it is, uh, especially if you have you know, multiple shoots with one client. It's easy to use the search feature in those apps to quickly isolate files or batches of files that you're looking for. So the biggest reason that we started using this was because the way that we work with media in Final Cut Pro 10, we don't actually store the media files in the Final Cut Pro library. We store them in what we call our project tree, which is sort of just a system of organization in Finder that allows us to know exactly where photos, videos, graphics, any of the files that we use for a project, we know where they are. But every once in a while when you're switching Final Cut libraries between edit drives, you're working with an editor remotely, or you're syncing their project back, you can have those files go offline when you open Final Cut Pro 10. Now, if within a project, especially one that's been multiple days, you might have a camera with files that it's created that have the same file name. Well, this can get a little tricky sometimes with relinking because the minute Final Cut goes to that file name that it thinks it's supposed to be finding and the parameters of the video don't match what it's looking for, the frame rate's different, the length of the clip is different, Final Cut just doesn't relink the file. So we decided to start renaming and custom naming all of our files so that every single file has a custom name so that Final Cut is never confused about what it's looking for to relink those files. Ever since we started using this app, all of our relinking has gone seamlessly, and it's cut out a lot of the things that sometimes cost us precious time on a project, especially when you're getting down to the wire and it's due. The app is incredibly simple to use. It has a lot of customization features that uh, can be tailored to different workflows. We keep ours as simple as possible. We simply drag the files into the app, type in our custom rename, and let it do its thing. The app is very affordable. It's $19.95 for a single user license, and if you wanna be able to update the file, forever without having to pay for any updates. I think it's an extra $19.95 to do that. So all in all, about $40, and that's a very inexpensive solution to something that can gobble up lots of little bits of time here and there as you're working on projects. 
especially when you start working in a multi-editor situation. So this is just, a, again, a great app that helps us with our workflow. Workflow is something that we are constantly looking at in order to create efficiencies, streamline the process of working with the files that we create, and also when we archive projects to make it much easier to find the files that we might need to do a new video for that client, uh, find something for our reel, or whatever project we might need that file for. So again, I can't iterate it enough. If you haven't been custom naming all of the files that you create as a media company, I think you should seriously consider doing it. And for me, a Better Finder Rename is a great app that does the trick every time, and I highly recommend it. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber already, we'd love it if you became a subscriber and got our videos on a regular basis. If there's anything that you want to hear more about from us, whether it's behind the scenes stuff, workflow, studio upgrades, uh, a, a video topic that we haven't even touched on yet, please don't hesitate to drop a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you again soon.